Hello, good day and welcome back. So today we're going to start in chapter 15 and we're going to be looking at the OS package in chapter 15. For the first section, however, we're actually going to use the OS that create function and we're going to be using that to look at files and how to create a file and we're going to write to a file. Now, it's no coincidence. In the previous section, the last thing we did, or the last few sections actually in chapter 10, we created a memstore object that looks sort of like a file and that we can create it, so specify a size, and then read and write to it. Well, we said it was a file-like object because it allows you to do those type of operation like open, close, write to it, get the size, and so on. And that's exactly what we're going to be able to do with a file eventually. But to start off with, all we're going to do is create the file, learn how to see how to create the file, write some data into the file, close it once we finish with it, just like we we do for a channel or we did for a mem store object, we close it when we finish. And like I said in the last video, you want to make sure you close things off like files and so on because you don't know what kind of resources they're holding on to. And if you finish using it, you want to signal that. And then we're going to verify from the command line that the data is in the file. So we're going to see all of this um, in a very simple example. So let's just jump in. So here we are. And as you can see, we're looking at the OS package, which we can get to by simply typing, you know, go to golang.org forward slash package forward slash OS. And then we're going to start reading through some of the, the description here, the documentation for this package. And as you can see, it tells you the talk and package OS provides a platform independent interface for operating system functionality. I'm not going to read all of it to you, but it's important to know that though, even though they provide a Unix like interface, um, the error handling is very much goal-like. Um, failing calls return values of type error rather than error number. If you know anything about programming in C or C++ or Unix in general, they tend to use numbers. Um, Go makes the interface Unix-like, but the, the error return is not a number that you have to check, you know, zero for suck, for no error on one for, or any other number for whatever might indicate the error is. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Um, the only other part is the second paragraph that Jean Dunxa says that the OS interface is in, in the, intended to be uniform across all operating system. And so that gives you some confidence that when you write code, um, of course, as you know, Go is cross-platform already, but with the OS package, even though it's the OS package and supposed to be OS specific, even there, they try to make it, uh, intend to make it uniform across all platform. So let's just jump in and see how to create um, a file. So we're going to start off by, of course, um, taking a copy from our previous example. Uh, we don't have to, but I'm going to use the example that we had in section 13 of chapter 10. And there I'm going to remove the P package because I don't need the person stuff. And then I'm going to start modifying this. And the reason I'm using this is because there in chapter 10, 13, we um, created some lines of text string and we wrote it to our memstore object using the write string um, function from the IO package. So we're going to use the same IO write string function, but instead of writing to our memstore, which is a file like thing, we're going to actually create a file using OS that create file, then write to it. But then OS that create file also return an error in addition to the pointer to the file. So we have to use that and, you know, check and see if there's an error. And then we are going to close the file. And then of course we don't need the mem MS, the mem store anymore. And we're just going to run our example program. And there you can see it works. Now I'm printing out the f file object. Hence you see that pointer that's printed out on the screen. But if I check the file that was created, I can see the content is in there. Now, I want it all to appear in separate lines, so I'm going to insert a new line character. I'm going to re remove the printout for this um, file object and just rerun it. And as you can see, it overread slash truncated the contents we had before, and now we have the new data. So that's all there is to it. Um, I hope you find this um, useful and you see how it ties into what we were doing before. It's not very different before we were using ms.new. Here we're just using os.create and we create a file and a file implements the same interface um, that we implemented for IO, which is the read, write, and you could see on all those other guys. All right. 
Take care. See you in the next video.